garment is put in there, pressurized in there. So having the OBC and the SCSC and so on, or in their own design, privatized the asset. You know anything with that? Sir, it's, it's from both ends. The way the institute wants to expand and the way uh, government is responding in a, in a way like cutting down the funds and poor implementation of scholarships. So they both are, you know, having had each, like they are going ahead uh, together. It's not like he only is doing something and government. They are both, these policies and government policies are hand in hand. So we are affected by both of them. Thank you very much. We are really grateful that you came to share your experiences with us. I want to know what you see was the importance of having SCST students in the community, TIS community, OBC students. What did they bring to knowledge creation within TIS? Uh, to answer this, I would like to go back with this in this has three states of history. Uh, one before 1980s and after 1980s the introduction of the Arab intervention and after 2014 and after 2013. This, this three are the stages of it. In the 80s there was no reservation, it's become the LHS Institute. And after 80s the reservation was introduced in the Pogalis and in 2014 the waiver of SES communities was there. So after the introduction of this adjustment of the RSC, SDOBC fees, so the, uh, you know, uh, the scholarship is being adjusted to the fee charged by the institute, there was a tremendous increase of SC, SD community in fees. And the diversity of the campus has been increasing, and the popularity and the reputation of this is increasing because this is very successful in marketing the brand of this is working for marginalization of the community. And in fact, they are doing a great job in providing free education in cooperation with the government scholarship. So they are doing a great job till 2014 to 2012. And now this policy is coming back. The effect has been already seen. In 2015, OBC scholarship has oh, the free uh, the, the fee adjustment from the scholarship has been withdrawn by this for OBC in 2015. And in 2017, we see the decrease from 2015 on what we see the decrease of the numbers of OBC. Now they are only 22%. 18% of the seats are filled by OBC students because they are asked to pay the upper fees, which are very high, around 62,000 uh, per semester. So now, if this is implemented across the CC and uh, as the communities. The numbers of SD will be substantially be decreasing and the diversity of the institute will be uh, decreasing. And then we will be going back to the states of the 80s, becoming this as LTS institute. Therefore, I think the fight is very important and uh, you know, this fight has to go on and we have to secure the diversity of this. I think one point is if we see the history of Indian education, they were historically remained as an Agrahara, dominated by upper class students. So it was maybe recently after 90, the two business students are coming. And they have, like, because of their presence, the educational institutions were, you know, democratizing. So this entire process of democratization is being, you know, going to be stopped with this new policy. I have a small question, all details are important. I do. Instead of just confining your strike within the PIS, the simultaneously you should explain your uh, struggle with the state government and the central government. So some of the scholars are coming from the state, and at the same time, some of the scholars are coming from the state. So, this point, what is your response to that point? Uh, yes, sir, on this end, we are also working with the government. And um, we have met many people. First of all, uh, the social justice minister has come to the institute. And after following it, the July Papers Working Group, as a members of me, we went to the social justice minister in his office. 
we met, and then recently we met that uh, Minister, and we met uh, the Social Justice Minister again, and we are working. Now we are mobilizing, to, you know, support from different MPs. Yesterday we met senior MPs from North East, and now the matter, as of now, tomorrow we will be sitting uh, in front of the chair of the, uh, uh, the National Commission of the Tribal, where the National Commission of the Tribal uh, is not taking uh, heed of our prayers to, to, for this concern. They call the institute director, the UCC member, the Tribal Commission, uh, the, the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, and the, the students. They will be hearing tomorrow at 4 p.m. So I will be. Uh, I will be a member of this yeah. So, so we, we are pushing it many different from uh, now uh, the pushing from the mobilization from the government parties through you know meeting uh, the concerned person. We did not take uh, uh, to the street yet for you know pressurizing, but we are doing uh, in the form of advocacy and advocacy.